In today's video, I'm going to make a gold replica of a seashell. To do this, I'll be doing a technique called sand casting. It's a metal casting process characterized by using sand as the mold material. This isn't just any ordinary sand, it's casting sand, referred to as green sand. What I'm trying to achieve is to make a cavity in the sand in the form of this seashell. I'll place the shell facing down and add talcum powder to this half of the box. This is so the shell and the other half of the box does not stick to each other. I'll start by sifting the sand over top to try to capture more detail. Then, I'll continue filling it until it reaches the top. Scrape off any excess sand, make sure it is flat and flip it over. Once flipped over, apply slight pressure on the sand surrounding the shell and smooth it out. It is good practice to cut out the pouring sprue and vent location prior to filling the other half with sand. This gives you the exact location for when you need to cut it out of both sides at the end. When you're finished, remove any loose sand. Before adding the other half of the mold box, we'll need to add more talcum powder to the pattern. Like before, remove the sand by holding the pattern in place and flipping over the box. With my casting box, I use two pins that are pushed in to lock both halves together. Without this, your casting box will fall apart and possibly cause serious injury. Now, I'll fill this half of the mold just like I did the other half. Once filled to the top and level, I'm going to fasten this wood backing to the box. This keeps the sand from falling out. You want to do this to the outside of both halves. Now it's time to remove the pattern. I'll start by removing the pins so that I can separate both halves of the box. You want to be careful when you do this. You can now get a good look at the impression. If it looks good, then now you can remove the pattern by just flipping over the box. This is where marking the sprue and the vents come to play. You can easily see it on both sides, allowing you to cut out the proper sprue and vents. You can put your casting box back together and reinstall your pins. When you're finished, Flip it upright and remove the top to expose the sprue. Now it's ready and we need to melt the metal. I'm going to use a piece of aluminum bronze from a previous cast. It's an alloy of 89% copper and 11% aluminum. I put this piece of cardboard under the crucible to prevent it from sticking. Now I will put the metal into the crucible and light the furnace. When the metal is molten, it's time to pour it into the mold. Let the metal sit for about 20 minutes before opening the casting box. You want to make sure the metal is solidified. 
Now you can see that it's a perfect replica of the seashell. I'll remove it from the sand and bring it inside. I think it looks great, but I still need to cut off the sprue in the vents. With those removed, I'll clean it up a little bit further using a wire wheel. Wow, it's perfect. Let's get a better look outside in natural light. Thanks for watching the video today, guys. I hope you liked it. If you want to try this yourself, always wear your proper protective equipment. Safety is number one.